Okay, so now then, we should have had it. Uh, we should have added some text. We should have edited our background, and um, we should have added and edited some images. As you can see, since uh, the last video, I've added in these two little blood splatters here. And I'm going to show you what I plan to use those for in just a second. I just added those the same way I've added any other image up to this point. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my text visible again. And you should already be able to see that there's a bit of a problem. So my text is hidden behind all of my images, which I don't want. So I'm going to come over here to my layers and I'm going to change the order of the layers so that all of my text is at the top. Now, still, this doesn't look great. We've got a lot of text. It's covering a lot of images. Things are clashing. Not quite what I'm after. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I've decided, for starters, that I would actually like the title of my... Uh, poster to be down at the bottom so I'm going to move that over here I'm going to take my tickets bring that up a little bit separate those two for now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text tool over here I'm going to make sure I'm on this layer that it's to die for layer because that's the one I'm currently working on I'm going to highlight that and we're going to look at how we can change the font so if you'll have a look at the top left here we have this little box that's going to allow us to change the font and I can have a look at these fonts and find the one that I think works. So we just had a little look and hmm, what would I like? Okay, this one looks very suitable to me. It's quite uh, kind of a scary looking font almost. It's, it looks like it's written in blood and I think that's quite suitable. So what I want is I want this text to be contained within this uh, blood splatter here. So I'm going to go back to my image. I'm going to resize the blood splatter because we want it to be a little bit bigger. It's not quite as big as I'd like. I'm going to replace it. I'd still like it in this top corner. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to click the tick. Then I'm going to go back to my text. And we are going to move the text. Now, there are two options here. I could make the text smaller or as I said previously I can send parts of the text onto the next line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here in the middle I'm going to click enter and you'll see that brings the the rest of the text uh, onto a new line and that will allow me to use my move tool to reposition my text into somewhere I'm happier with Okay, and now thinking about it, I think I'd rather this text was in bold. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to uh, my text tool here. I'm going to highlight the text. And then where we have this here, we can choose a few different settings for our text. So there isn't quite a bold like you would have in... Uh, Microsoft Word but we do have this strong here and then we have another setting over here uh, and that's just regular okay so we'll leave that as that for now I think that works quite nicely we've made the text a little stronger it's a little bit bolder uh, I could if I wanted it to be uh, bolder again I suppose I could change it to uh, capitals I would have to retype it out but I could change all the text to capitals but I'm happy with that for now we're going to leave that as it is so the next thing i want to show you is as you can see here we've got another sort of blood splatter but this one is diagonal so how can i get my text to fit within this diagonal slash so what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to make sure we have this selected and then we're going to use our text tool we're going to highlight the text and we're going to make it ever so slightly smaller just to make sure that it all fits. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold control. I'm going to press T. And this will bring up our transform, which we can then use to resize. But what we can also use it to do is rotate. So I'm going to rotate the text so, it's an, uh, so it is at an angle. And when I'm happy, I'm going to click this plus up here. And use my move tool to 
get my text into place. But okay. What I could do then is I could come back to my text tool, highlight my text, and change my font. I might want to use different fonts, but I think for the sake of this poster, I'm going to keep my text all in a similar font. Now I've changed my font and I've realized, well, actually, this is quite a small font. So what I can do is I can then once again make my font a little bigger to make it easier to read. Okay, so that's a little too big. So what we want is we want that medium. We want that 24. Okay, and then I can click plus. And I'm happy with that. Okay, then for the text down here at the bottom, it's a little bland. So again, we're going to change the font to something we like. You don't have to use this font. You can use whichever font you like. Uh, like so. And then what I'm going to do in just a second is I'm going to draw a shape to give it a bit of a background. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I've changed the font of my text. I'm happy with that. I might make the title a bit bigger in a second. Now I want to draw a shape to give it a background. So how do we draw a shape? Well, we've got this rectangle tool here. And that's going to let us draw a box. We can draw different shapes. I'm going to stick with the box for now. What colour do I want my box? Well, I've got quite a lot of red down here, so it would make sense to pick a different colour. So I am going to give myself a nice grey box, like so. Now the issue being, obviously the box is currently above my text, so I'm going to come back over here to the layers, I'm going to drag that down, and now I can see my text. Okay, so I'm going to move this text, Bring it somewhere I like and then what I could do is I could use the text tool to make that text bigger as it's currently quite small it's currently quite hard to read but for the most part those are a couple of ways we can edit our text to make it look a little better and I'm quite happy with my poster now it's by no means perfect and I'm sure you'll all do much better but those are just a couple of ways we can edit our text what I'd like you to do now is go back to your poster have a play around, edit your text until you're happy with it. And then what we should have is pretty much finished posters, okay? So we should have all the text we included, we've got some edit, uh, Im images we have edited, and we've edited our backgrounds, okay?